Oh, the next number, well, unfortunately, uh, vertex 4 na yung equation natin. So, madali nang identify ang mga kanilang vertex. So again, this is my vertex. So H natin, no? Kasi kung saan yung gagamitin. So meron ko na yung vertex. Next, gawa na tayo ng table. So gawa ka ng alley na rows. solve na natin yung mga values doon sa may range. Kasi 8 lang yung meron doon. Ano kaya yung value kapag nasa tapat ng negative 4? Sa tapat ng negative 2, yung value is 8. Value sa may negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, tsaka 0. So gagawin natin yung uh, vertex form as our equation para masolve yung values ng mga loans.
Okay, next. So, after na dito construct yung table at yung graph, sasagutin na natin kung ano yung mga domino range, vertex, x-intercept, y-intercept, axis of symmetry, minimum or maximum point, at sa yung point, and then yung opening. 
So let's start with domain. This is always oh, most of the time, all the time, most of the time. Um, numbers. For set of real numbers. Yung range natin is Kasi um, hindi siya nakalagay sa may um, quadratic function na form. Kung nasa quadratic function na form yan, yung durong number na yun, hindi yung 8, that is 0. Kung isisimplify natin. Mamaya papakita ko na 0, 0 yung answer na sa may y-intercept. Kasi ang sabi doon sa y-intercept is yung point kung saan tatamaan ng graph yung uh, y-axis. So obviously, tinamaan ng, tinamaan ng graph dun sa may y-axis dito sa may 0, 0 hindi naman dito sa may 0, 8 so yun nandun sa may module is wrong kapag sinimplify ko yan hindi 8 yun nasa dulo kapag eto kinonvert ko into quadratic function hindi naman 8 yun nandun sa dulo so 
So, ba't po nasabing mali yung nandun sa module, yung 8 na Y intercept for number 3? Kasi pag kinonvert mo yan into a quadratic function, yung value ng C, most of the time yun yung Y intercept natin. So, dito, inassume na yung 8 siya yung value ng C, which is not true. So, tignan natin, i-convert natin yung vertex form into a quadratic function. Sa quadratic function kasi, di ba, doon mo makikita yung A, B, and C. Yung C, siya yung y-intercept. So, titignan natin anong value ng C. So, ito ay i-convert to, o oh, itatransform to a value sa quadratic function. So, negative 2, x plus 2 squared plus 8. So, this is negative 2. Um, dalawang x plus 2. Plus 8. So, gagamit ka ng form nito you will have negative 2 x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 8 tapos yung multiply yung negative 2 sa lahat ng terms dito sa loob so you will have negative 2 x squared minus 8x negative 2 times positive 4 negative 8 plus 8 now kung titignan mo Pag sinimplify mo yan, we have this negative 8 plus 8 that is equal to 0. So negative 2x squared plus 8x and then 0. Walang value. So kung identify mo yung a, b, and c, yung a mo, yung a is equal to negative 2. Yung b is equal to negative 2. A. Yung C is equal to 0. So, dyan mo malalaman yung inter y intercept mo. Makikita mo dun sa may 0. Hindi siya 0 A. So, yan yung, yan yung um, indicator na yung graph mo, tatamaan niya yung y-axis dun sa may 0. So, hindi dun sa may A. Kasi makakansal magiging zero yung value sa dulo. So, dun sa may module, ang ginamit yung value ng C is, is 1, which is wrong. Ito yung C natin, yung 0, hindi ito. Kasi nasa perfect support niya. So, kailangan mo mag-convert it to pro, or to transform to contract function para malaman mo yung value ng C. So, yan yung explanation bakit mali yung nandun sa may module. Iba yung nilagay yung value ng y intercept hindi 0, 0. Ang nilagay niya doon is 0, 8, which is wrong. Ang tamang answer is 0, 0.